Well, the economic situation in the Republic was the subject of much debate here at Stormont today. The Enterprise Minister told MLAs that she's concerned about the implications of the Irish financial crisis for jobs in the banking sector here. I spoke to Arlene Foster after she'd made a statement in the Assembly and I asked her if such a serious situation had a potential knock-on effect on her own economy. I think we have to look at the impact that anything that happens in the Republic of Ireland could have on the whole of the UK, but particularly in Northern Ireland. And uh, it's a very substantial uh, destination for our exports. About 29% of all of our exports go to the Republic of Ireland. And I have often said that a lot of our small businesses export for the very first time into that market. So obviously it has always been of a concern. But now we're seeing a package put together uh, from the UK government, from the IMF and from uh, European Union. And I want to be very clear that the money that comes from the UK government takes into account uh, the impact of any bailout on Northern Ireland because I'm concerned about two things in particular. Obviously, the jobs in two of the major banks um, in the Republic of Ireland are here as well. So. We already seen the way in which the Bank of Ireland, when it restructured, took jobs out of Northern Ireland. Uh, and then there's the whole issue of access to finance, which continues to be uh, a problem in Northern Ireland. And I want to make sure it doesn't get any worse uh, with this bailout. Is there a sense with the banks that it might be easier for them to cut jobs here in Northern Ireland than in the Republic? Well, I don't know the answer to that, Jim, but I certainly don't want a situation uh, where we get to that position where they're safeguarding jobs in the Republic of Ireland at the expense of jobs in Northern Ireland. And that's why I think very clearly we need to put down a marker uh, with our own government, uh, our central government, so that when they're speaking to the Irish government that that's something they're very much aware of. And of course, we've also seen a subsidiary of Allied Irish First Trust go on the market here. They want to sell that. They haven't had much success. But do you think that the Northern Irish operation is now a low priority for those Irish banks? Yes, because they're having severe difficulties with refinancing, with capital liquidity. All of those issues are what's exercising them on a day-to-day -day basis. But for me, as the Economy Minister in Northern Ireland, what's key for me are jobs, obviously, but also access to finance for smaller companies and indeed bigger companies as well. We've got a property crash here in Northern Ireland, which must be a spillover from what happened in the Republic. That's causing suffering for a lot of ordinary people in terms of negative equity and, of course, the whole construction industry. What could the executive do about that? Well, I was listening to some commentators last night talking about the fact that about 25% of the domestic mortgages will now be in negative equity in the Republic of Ireland. That's a huge figure uh, by any means. So that's something that um, my colleague, the Finance Minister, has had extensive discussions with Brian Lenehan about the impact of NAMA uh, in Northern Ireland in relation to property here. And as I've already said, two of the four uh, Irish banks are here in Northern Ireland in a very meaningful way. So that will have an impact as well.